morning, friends. Uh, my name is Akio Kasuga. Uh, I am a bridge designer of the construction company. So my presentation is very, very comprehensive. And uh, I'm a member of Commission 10 of the model code and the task group 10.1. And uh, my, I will show you the, the, the completely a point of view of the practitioners. And uh, uh, to understand model code 2020, not so easy. But uh, uh, I hope my presentation will be the some, some uh, crew to understand the, the coming model code. So this is the contents of my pre presentation. And uh, I wrote uh, four page papers, uh, but uh, the most of the chart and the figures uh, uh, original uh, done by myself. Uh, this is very, very important to understand the model codes myself. So I hope it helps to understand the new model code. Okay, so before going to uh, the model code, uh, everybody knows this is a European standard. And for me, this is very, very uh, helpful to understand the, uh, uh, the supply chain uh, of the construction from the material and the construction and the use stage after construction and more demolition and the next cycle. And usually I checked uh, by using a couple of papers and by using my company and by using uh, the data from the CDP. And this is very important. And material uh, stage and also the use stage after the construction, uh, the CO2 emission is dominant. And uh, mostly 40% come from uh, the product stage and the rest of 60%, 50% come from uh, the use stage. So uh, in order to go to the carbon neutrality, uh, this is very, very important to uh, overcome the use stage in a green area because the, the material area is uh, down, is doing by the um, uh, produ producers, cement company, and also steel company. So mainly I will talk about uh, this uh, two area. Okay, so this is a flowchart of the uh, new model code. And uh, most important things is uh, we don't, we, we, not only the new construction, but also we uh, think about uh, the existing structures. But basically, uh, from the in investigation to the demolition, this flow is the same uh, as the new construction and also uh, the existing structures. Everything go back to the conceptual design. And uh, conceptual design is very, very important for uh, all of the players of the cons uh, concrete construction. And uh, we focus on a little bit uh, how to uh, do the sound conceptual design. And the left-hand side is uh, the detail of the conceptual design. Firstly, uh, we think about sustainability requirements and uh, everything goes down and up to the verification of the structures. So this flowchart is uh, still under uh, discussion. And uh, this flowchart, uh, uh, I got the permission to show everybody by Stuart a couple of weeks ago. So I hope this helps uh, in the future. I, I put this flowchart in my uh, paper. Sorry. So at the same time, uh, FIB decided to form this platform uh, to get uh, the inventory data and the design process uh, from the uh, material to the end of the life. Uh, because uh, the material, as I said before, uh, another sector is doing to reduce the uh, uh, CO2. But after the construction, especially the relation between durability and uh, CO2 emission, we don't have much data, not so much data. So uh, it, it is very important, Commission 8 durability group, and also uh, the owner side to, to the data to how to maintain during the lifetime. So we will uh, form this plat platform in the future. Uh, so this data is very, very important to uh, realize uh, the new model code. Okay, again, I show you uh, the, the uh, supply chain from the material to 
the next cycle. And right hand side, now we have many, many uh, co commissions and task group and uh, material and the structure design and uh, execution and the conservation uh, intervention and the demolition. Uh, we combine all of the power of the FIB to uh, meet, uh, to, to make uh, the, the activity group to meet a new model group. Okay, so this is a little bit complicated. Right, left hand side is a, a flow chart of the design and the right hand side is uh, our new platform. Uh, everything's related to uh, the, the, from design to the demolition and to the, our new activity by the commission and task group. From design, execution and uh, conservation intervention and demolition. And also uh, every player, uh, in the, our FIB uh, society, uh, we should think about uh, the supply chain from A to D. So uh, I don't go to detail today, but uh, everything is related to our new special activity group and the next model go 2020. Okay, it is very uh, sim simple and uh, easy to understand uh, my uh, thought from the point of view of the practitioners. Uh, this is uh, uh, intervention, upgrading of the existing, existing structures uh, in Spain. Uh, the first construction was done by uh, 1986. Uh, span length is 150 meter uh, typical box gutter uh, bridges. And uh, okay. Sorry. So, so the, this bridge it was needed to widen because of the traffic, and also this uh, is projects done by the Fugos company, Fecol. So in order to upgrading uh, the existing structure, we, uh, as I said, we go back to the conceptual design. So widening bridge is easy to support the slot, but important thing is how to carry the new road. Uh, by the existing structures. This is uh, Fugo's solution. The, every new road goes to the strut, the bottom of the strut, and also the new road carried by the new web it, at the center. So uh, basically uh, the connection between the new uh, steel horizontal uh, beam connected to the new, only the new web like this. Okay, so this is very important. The connection between the new structures uh, is only the new web at the center. So uh, this kind of way of thinking is very, very important uh, in the process of conceptual design, not only the new construction, but uh, the intervention like this. And the next, uh, example is uh, new material by using new material to meet the model code 2020. And uh, uh, concrete uh, is uh, zero cement, non clinker uh, concrete. Uh, and also, uh, the reinforcement is uh, not steel. Uh, in this case, is alum fiber reinforcement. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a tendon of the processing. So, everybody knows uh, the Pantheon. It, works more than 2,000 years because it's non-metallic structure. The concrete itself is very, very durable, everybody knows. But uh, after the intervention, uh, invention of the uh, reinforced concrete uh, about 150 years ago, uh, the concrete researcher engineer uh, has been fighting with the uh, deterioration of the steel. Okay, this is a very simple uh, concept of the how to emit CO2 in the each uh, process of the uh, supply chain. And the, at the beginning, uh, material emit a lot, as I said. And also construction itself, not so mm, uh, big problem. And also after the construction, each intervention, it's, uh, it's, it's the same as construction, uh, emit CO2 a uh, couple of times. And uh, I put some numbers, 400 ton per 
million euro. Five million is the cost of the construction. And the material stage, is, it is about 400 tons per million euro. And the use stage is about 600 tons per million euro. I don't, I don't know, go to the detail. This is, is a database by uh, the uh, UK researchers. And in this case, it does work. OK. Uh, when we use the zero clinker, low, zero cement concrete, and also alamid fiber, uh, the, the con concept of the CO2 emission is like this. Very small uh, in the uh, use uh, product stage, like uh, zero or 100 tons. And also almost zero uh, emission during the lifetime, all of the lifetime. And uh, at the demolition, uh, the, the CO2 uh, emitted uh, another uh, uh, C stage. So I checked. OK. I checked by using uh, ash to gather. Uh, the, the dimension is the same. And the left hand side is a new technology, and the right hand side is a conventional technologies. And uh, I calculate uh, the CO2 emission very, very roughly. And uh, it product stage it, per cubic meter of the concrete, uh, conventional uh, gather is 1.3 ton, and also zero cement plus uh, alamid fiber is 0 0.4. This is almost 70% reduction. And uh, use stage B, uh, if uh, the, the maintenance cost is same as uh, initial investment uh, or a double of the initial investment, I assume, like this. And also the cost related to the CO2 a lot, as I said, as I showed before. So the, the B stage, uh, 1.3 to 2.0, and also new, co new technologies, almost zero, I assume. The finally, uh, the total life cycle time, we can reduce uh, 85% to 90% by using new material. So this kind of new material, uh, by using a new model code, we can design and construction. OK. All right, this is conclusion. The model code can accommodate new materials and new structures. Uh, sound conceptual design, not only the new construction, but also the existing structures, is required both stage. It's the same. And it is a next generation benefit that it will be from the advanced nature of the model code 2020. So, Model code 2020 is very, very fantastic advanced code, but important thing is to use this advanced model code and from the uh, suppliers, designers, and the builders, and also owners. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think we can uh, take uh, one or two questions to Akio presentation, if you have any, uh, because we will have a lot to, uh, more to tell today. Um, yes, please. Uh, I don't know if we have a microphone. <laughs> Did you mention what you have in your series and then concrete instead of cement? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's like just uh, the R&D process and the gather I showed. Uh, it's a uh, uh, zero cement concrete and, uh, and real situation. The owner, lots of owner, asked the builders to reduce. Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, the the uh, we use uh, three kind of uh, byproduct: uh, silica hume and the fry ash and the uh, uh, brass furnace slag. So uh, it is, uh, we call it the zero, zero clinker cement. I don't, I don't know uh, the, the, it is uh, feasible here in Europe, but it's a trial. <laughs>